All right, Taurus, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading for Taurus, sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Taurus influences your natal chart. You could apply these energies for the next seven days. All right, Taurus, let's get into your reading. This is the oracle card reading, full oracle card spread. And then down below in the description box, there's a box, there's a link to an extended reading where I do a full tarot spread and a romance reading. These are the energies for the next seven days. Taurus energy for the next seven days, Taurus energy. So crowning your energy is be generous of spirit. Ooh, be brave, be brave, be strong, and look to the future. This is Leo energy. This is believing in yourself and also having other people believe in you. Do not be afraid to be seen this week, Taurus, because this is the energy of you feel confident in yourself. Say good things about yourself. Believe in yourself. Support yourself. Know that you are valuable and know that you are worthy and walk into every single room that you walk into with pride, not with your nose in the air, but with your shoulders back, your chin up, with strength, with courage. This is also, remember, remember the Wizard of Oz? Courage. This is being strong in the face of something that may be intimidating to you. You may be facing things that are new for you. Remember the cowardly lion who honestly ended up not being so cowardly, right? Because he still went on that path. He still went on that journey. He still faced things that other people ran away from. So he was not as cowardly as he th thought he was, right? He didn't need courage. He actually had courage because look at the journey that he went on. He thought that being afraid of trouble and being afraid of danger made him a coward. And remember what the wizard said? That's not what it is. That's not what it is. Being afraid of trouble or running away from danger is intelligence. It's not cowardice. He was brave and he was strong. So don't call yourself a coward just because you think you sense that there's danger up ahead and you don't want to get involved in it. That's you being wise, not you being a coward. So don't talk nasty stuff to yourself this week, Taurus, because because this week is all about you owning yourself and being proud of who you are and sticking up for yourself. It's almost like standing by who you are, believing in who you are, trusting that what you are is more than enough and being courageous in the face of the future. Mm, I actually really like that energy for you this week. You could also be dealing with a Leo. <laughs> you know, you could be. Let's move on, but that's the energy, that's your crowning energy, Taurus. So let's move on to the rest of your reading. What else is in store for Taurus? What other messages need to come out? All right, all right. Things are just pouring out right now, okay. Reclaim your power, this is upright. This is once again, be generous of spirit, what I say. These two together, you gotta feel better about yourself. Whatever you say about yourself this week, make sure that it's good because somebody is listening and I got a feeling it's karma. There is magic in the making here. So watch the words that you speak this week because you will speak it into existence. There's also a message of somebody's got their eyes on you and it could be a Leo, we don't know. I'm gonna keep the reading going. So. But it could be a Leo, but there's an energy of somebody having their eyes on you or watching you from a distance and basically trying to take you all in and see what they think of you. This is also an energy of seeing what you think of yourself and being able to feel good about who you are again. Something may have knocked you down recently. Something may have caused you to doubt yourself. This is about getting yourself back. This is like the strength card in the tarot. This is about you tamed that beast. You faced that shadow. You owned the shadow. You accepted the shadow. You said the shadow is as beautiful as the light. You know, wherever there is sun in the 3D world, there is a shadow that just means that I am real. And Taurus, that is your energy energy this week is being for real and not being afraid of your for real. Not being afraid of your for real. Tend to the small things. Okay, this is something has been building. That's what this card means. So we all know, and I've said this in many other readings, that where there is one mice, there is about 100 or 500 in the walls. So that means that little by little, things have been building. Now, this could be a good or bad thing, but it's almost like you, you're almost feeling like you're stalked. 
this week. You not not by an actual person, but by this energy of you can feel this and you almost feel like this impending doom, or you have this sense that something is up and something has been building, and it's this tension that's been building of what is this? Why do I feel this way? I can't put my finger on it. I can't place myself, but it's just something about this that I don't feel right about. Something feels off. You know that something is building. This is four, four, four. So there's something about maybe you're building a new foundation because four, four, four is the angel number of of being set of of being protected by being guarded by angels and having angels all around you to protect you. So there is this energy of spiritual protection being surrounding you surrounding you this week so there's this energy of be strong and be courageous because you can feel that something is building and something is growing and you just have these little clues right now these little hints but honestly they're real they are absolutely real and you just have to have strength right now you have to have courage that's what the energy that's what the energy is, is saying and i think that you know it deep inside yourself is you you're going to need a lot of strength and you're going to need a lot of courage to get through the rest of this week and into the future. And it could just be facing your own fears, facing those things that you feel about yourself or, or whatever it is that's making you feel on edge. But there is definitely something making you feel unnerved, like something is growing and you can feel it. There's something quote unquote in the air. So uh, Taurus, if you are on platforms that allow for commercials, I'm going to sneak one in here. And I'll be back in about 30 seconds. So thank you so much for either watching that commercial or surviving that very awkward pause. Either way, I appreciate that you're still here with me. Moving on is you see clearly now. So somewhere along the middle of this week, you're going to finally realize and be able to put everything together and understand what is happening. This is the energy of seeing in the dark. So maybe you've been able to finally spot what was stalking you. I stalking you quote unquote, um, not necessarily really stalking you, but what was making you feel uh, uneasy there, you'll be able to finally um, pinpoint it or bring it out to the surface. Uh, this is also wisdom. This is also a sense of growing up, maturing. This is an Aquarian energy of seeing the larger picture and what's more important. Something outside of you is more important than you, especially this week, Taurus. And I think that that's what it is. It could be somebody that you care about, somebody that you know that you're worried about or concerned with. It doesn't necessarily even have to be their health or their safety. It could be, what do they think of me? You know, or, or do they feel the same way that I feel? There's just this energy that's growing, this, this concern regarding somebody else. It could be somebody who is older than you. It could be somebody who is very close to you somebody who you care about a great deal or somebody that you want to care about a great deal but you're not really sure if they feel the same way as you feel so you're basically trying to figure things out and put things together through these little hints that they may or may not have left you but remember something tend to the small things and then there's owl owl eats the mouse Okay, so these little tidbits and whatever is growing, you're going to have the energy to defeat it. I, I would say by midweek or by the end of this week, you're going to finally be able to see it in the dark and chop it up whole because it's growing and it's festering and it's got to be taken care of. And it may be somebody outside of you that comes in and helps to advise you about what to do about this situation. Go and ask for advice this week, Taurus. This would be a good week to do that. Bring a gentle touch. Be kind to yourself. Or this could be outside energy. This is very Virgo energy. A Virgo energy of just being um, nurturing and tending to, cultivating, um, and, and being patient. So um, this is also healing energy. It's a very loving, gentle energy of just something to make. It's going to make, in other words, it's going to make you feel okay. It's going to make you feel like you can take an, like you can exhale, right? And stand on all four who's it's going to be, it's a very grounded energy, but it's gentle grounded. It's not about making a, a decision for the rest of your life, but it's about finally understanding something that you were questioning and it's going to give you a sense of ease. 
Mm, um, ready to exhale, bring a gentle touch. Miracles are endless. So maybe finally you're getting news that you really needed. You're going to you're going to hear from somebody and you're going to get insight into a situation that you really, really needed. And this is for energy too. I will turn the camera around so you could see, but I have 44 and then I have 40 and I have 43. So I have four fours all lined up in a row. You're protected. And whoever this loved one is, is, is protected. There's this energy that's surrounding you of just holding you really tight and hugging you really tight um, for whatever this news is. It's almost like not knowing it is worse than knowing it, but you're gonna get some good news because miracles are, are endless. Is like a message from the gods coming down and saying, hey, everything is cool. Everything is peaceful. Everything is chill. This is an energy of sunshine, not of celebration, but of happiness and abundance and, and almost feeling yourself radiate with joy. So for me, this is an energy. This is very Taurus energy. This is your energy. This is um, abundance and sweetness of life and beauty and happiness and health. So it's almost like you're getting some really, really good news, Taurus. Be loyal to what you love. Um, this is either concerning somebody that you care about or something that you care about. Um, this is about making a decision to stand by somebody um, that may be in need. It doesn't matter because you love them unconditionally. Or it's about standing by, like I said, something that you do and committing yourself to it. This may actually also be a sense of sort of rethinking what you want to commit yourself to and allowing it to change or be a little bit more flexible this week. But inevitably, um, inevitably, this is something that you're going to be able to stick to. This is something that um, you're, you're truthfully and honestly going to get a lot out of. So it's reliable energy, so you can trust this energy. And then sweet results await. So this is abundance. This is you dripping in honey this week. Now, Understand that when bees shows up, it's not just about good luck because bees don't, bees don't make honey from good luck. Bees make honey from hard work. And there has definitely been dedication and seeing things through the hard times, Taurus. So you could very well be, okay, you might be dealing with another Taurus. You might be dealing with a Cancerian. You might be dealing with um, um, a Virgo, an Aquarius, a Leo. There's so much energy on this table. But it's all sort of, I feel like it's rallying around you to support you. This is a culmination of a lot of people's efforts to make life good. Because bees don't work alone either, right? They build their hives and like, see this? This is number seven. So this is creation. You've been working in conjunction with a lot of other people to make something happen. And you may have faltered your, I'm sorry, your um, um, conviction may have faltered. You may have wanted to give up, but like I said, you did not give up. Persevere, especially through this week. I'm gonna, I gotta say, perseverance, perseverance, perseverance is the secret to success this week. Even if you feel like giving up, if you feel uncomfortable, if you feel like everything's about to close in around you, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you keep working and keep going because sweet results await. And by the end of the week, you're going to really, really love your life. It's almost like you're in, in staying with whatever this is, you're, you're almost paving whatever is going to be in your future. So you're making a choice that this is what's going to be in your future. And it's a beautiful future. This is dripping in honey. This is sweetness. This is, dare I say, magic or more specifically manifestation because like I said, bees don't make honey out of magic. This is both two Leo cards. Do you see? So this is obviously Leo. This is the lion energy. But this is my sun card. This is success and victory. This is ta-da, here I am. So your full whole self is restored. Like whatever that, whatever that energy is, um, whatever is, um, what, my son just shouted and it distracted me, I apologize. Whatever is this energy, whatever you were, you've been working really hard on, and I can feel like you got discouraged, but I'm telling you right now, Taurus, 
this is going to be a beautiful week for you. There's some really positive news coming in. Really, some really positive news. People are going to be very, very supportive of something that you've been creating. And what just popped out tells me this is definitely something that you've been working hard on. And careful the tale you tell. That is the spell. Children will listen. You're casting spells this week. So be very gentle and very, very good and, and kind to yourself um, this week because it's actually very important. Any conversations you have regarding you, be sure that you talk good about yourself. So this is make your dreams real. You've been working very, very hard. Sweet results uh, await is the central energy and the grounding energy is these four cards. You have been working extremely hard, keep working because you are actually weaving the fabric toward the reality that you're going to live in. This is about your future Taurus and you've got all these really, this positive support. You're very well protected. You're very well guarded. And there's also this energy of um, abundance and miracles happening around you. But I think it's you, you're the miracle. You're the one that made this work. Um, let it shine and surrender now. So this is a Sagittarius season. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. There's a, and then, and then a surrender now, almost like a moth to a flame. You're getting attention for something or somebody's taking notice of you. And it, it may almost be like you're, you're too tempted, like you're too eager and you're just jumping at it. Okay. Sometimes life stings. So this grounding energy is, is almost like it, this could have something to do with a grandmother as well. Uh, and, and I'll say that. I'll tell you, explain it in a second. Um, this could have to do with a message from your grandmother, a message about your grandmother, or something being shown to light. Like, like in other words, there is definitely a bitter sweetness to this week because there is a, a set of bad news or a set of clarification on a situation that was worrying you. And it may not... It may not be good stuff, but at least the clarification is good stuff. But aside from that, on top of all of that, is this energy of things going really, really well for you. So the grounding energy is almost humbling. And 1717, that's divine counterparts. It's almost there's something really wonderful happening in your life while simultaneously there's something really worrisome. And so there's this very grounding energy of you maybe don't want to over delight and over indulge in the good stuff, but that's good because what's happening on the side, what's going on that makes you, hold on, I'm going to turn the camera around so I can show you the cards as I'm discussing this. Hold on. Okay. So here you have it. You're, this is a big spread, right? It's talking a lot. This week, seven days, is going to be a beautiful week. There's going to be something very good, good news coming in. But underneath it all, there's also going to be, quote, unquote, bad news. Okay, what does that mean? It's not, it's good because you needed clarification. You're going to finally understand what this thing that you were afraid of is. And that is going to be a little bit scary. But it's not going to be so scary. It's going to be humbling. So that when you really take off, and you really are going to take off, you're going to face whatever this hardship is with a tremendous amount of courage. And driving that forward and the tenacity that you show through this moment is really going to manifest and weave what you are to become. So this is right here, right now is everything that matters. You know, it's almost like, yes, something is going to be revealed soon that is going to hurt you. If not hurt you, that sounds like an attack. It's not an attack. That's not the energy that I'm getting. It's going to worry you. It's going to concern you, but you're going to get insight into it so that you don't have to be worried about it. You can let the worry go, but it's going to be humbling, humbling in the way that when all this bounty starts to come into you and it's going, that's going to simultaneously be happening this week. You're not going to take it for granted. And so it's this perfect, beautiful balance of the, the, the sweet with the bittersweet. And so you're, I, th I, I feel like this is a really great energy because it's, it's, it's something, this, it's just a really good energy. You know, it's like, hey, good things are happening to you, but you're not going to be an idiot about those good things because simultaneously there's something that is uh, humbling you going on as well. 
Uh, I'm going to get a little further into this and basically the outcome, especially of the situation that might be worrisome over in the... Um, over in the tarot card spread, and I'm also going to do the, the full romance reading too. I will meet you guys over there.